take a trip. Get the band back together. See moments as possibilities. Take a wrong turn. This is life. But life is so rarely this. So promise to do it again next year. Only in Minnesota. Traveling with the guys is always fun. Uh, we have a lot of clowns on the team, so you know we got on the airplane and stuff. First person to fall asleep is always always going to be on someone's Snapchat story. I came from JUCO, so we never really traveled far and had like private charters and all that. So it was just fun hanging around the guys, just, just laughing and stuff on the bus, and you know getting to know everybody and just you know just having fun. It's always fun to kind of get away from the schoolwork and just practice and just kind of bond. It's your, it's your chance to really get to know each other better. This game's gonna mean a lot to our family. It's not about winning and losing like I tell them. The team that executes the best is gonna win. The other team's gonna move on and, and just try to get better from that game. And we know we can lose this game. We know we can win this game. Either way, I'm gonna be real proud of, of the man coaching uh, opposite us. I know so much is made of us versus them and me and him, but when we get there, um, I know our guys will learn a lot uh, and be very gracious and make sure they embrace and enjoy it as much as possible. Once you get down there, you're gonna realize it's really about the troops. It's gonna be a fun game for us. The whole me, my dad stuff is out the window. Nobody's gonna talk about that anymore. It's about playing a great game in front of these troops. What's up, yo? Family on three. One, two, three, family. family. Child experience is definitely unique. Um, it's something that, that you don't see often or if ever at all. Uh, the different families that are together obviously enjoy spending time with, with one another. So. It's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool atmosphere and pretty cool environment. Coach Patino and, and his dad and his his mom, his wife, and all their family they were kind of congregating in the middle. So I mean, it was cool. I mean, it was great spending time with those guys headed down to Puerto Rico. I mean, there's so many um, intertwined relationships. It was definitely a family affair. first thoughts when I stepped off the plane was I don't want to come back to the cold. <laughs> it was The weather was beautiful out there. Got a chance to go to the beach and stuff and just see the sights and it was a great experience. Being able to uh, go out on the beach was really fun. Uh, you know, a chance to actually get on the beach when it's snowing in Minnesota. I'm from Florida so I, I love the weather. I wish I can go back. <laughs> but no, nah, it was great man just being in Puerto Rico. I never been over, I never been nowhere like that so it was it was a great experience. I mean, getting to Puerto Rico was very much a cultural experience as well as a, you know, an educational experience. I mean, we weren't there, um, you know, on vacation. We were there for business, but it was great that we could spend some time with the troops. Being able to hang out with the Coast Guard and, uh, you know, just interact with them, it was a humbling experience uh, to really get, you know, kind of inside of what they do and, you know, how they live their lives uh, on the ship and on the coast. Uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're people like we are, and they're really dedicated and brave, and, you know, it's, it's a really humbling experience. Coaches in general talk a lot about commitment and about sacrifice and about uh, being a productive member of a great team. And nowhere else is that, is that shown than in the United States military. I mean, it's the best team in the world. They realize that, you know, these people in services, uh, whether it's the Coast Guard, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, um, really do a, a great deal for our country. And so I think our guys were just as excited to meet with them, talk with them, ask them questions, take pictures, 
um, share stories as much as those families were with us. Gopher basketball starts off in grand style tonight with a national stage, a unique environment, and a touch of family beauty. A couple of dribbles out to Hollins deep on the right wing. He brings it to the end of key. To Morris, rises and fires for three and hits. Now the Gophers have numbers if they want, if they can run. Mason driving to the hoop, lays it up and in, coast to coast. Well, we came out the gates pretty strong. I think, I think everybody was ready to play. We are doing some good things offensively, moving the ball, moving bodies. Well, I think we were being really aggressive to start the game. Uh, we were, we were you know, really looking for our offense. We were knocking down shots. Kind of got off track a little bit when we started fouling. From that point, you know, the game kind of changed momentum. It's a great learning experience for everybody. Our program, Louisville's program, my family. I don't think we wanted to forget it. We want, we want them to, to realize that sting and, and to carry that sting. We don't want to feel that way again. Um, anytime, you know, throughout the rest of this season. One of the special things about playing a team like Louisville is they play so much like we do. That our guys could really see kind of what we want to strive to become and what we want it to look like.